yeah. and you were there on your own with no idea of how much time had passed and no communication. What was going through your mind? What were you hearing? Was it magnifying any sounds or slight noises? Yeah, because I was so isolated from the, the whole team and even the studio. Anything that happened down there was just... It, it just took over, really. And there was stuff happening, which I thought was happening behind me. And um, after a while of being down there, I thought I could see faces in the... Uh, kind of in front of me from the viewfinder, so... And of strange. course, you had no sense of time, so I suppose, right. kind of in a way, it was like some of our, or your sensory deprivation experiments. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking down at South Sea on the South Coast some years oh, yeah. ago, yeah. when you were kind of cut off from the outside of the world, so all your senses magnify. Yeah, it is, and one of the hard things is, is when you're down somewhere like that for so long, because you're on there for a good hour, that you, you, you can't tell what time it is. You don't know if you've been down there for five minutes, half an hour, three quarters of an hour, and when things start happening, it's almost a sort of this self perpetuation of, 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 of fear because you'll see things, you'll hear things, and you're on your own, and you know nothing is physical down there. So the only other alternative in your mind, it must be paranormal. So the fear just grows and grows and grows. And of course, we never stop filming here on Most Haunted Live. We have, well, it's no exaggeration, dozens of cameras working every single night. Yeah. And last night in particular, I was fascinated towards the end when Yvette and then Kath saw this kind of black shape, this black mist in front of them. Now, we've had lots of sound phenomena. That was a real visual phenomena. But I think that's a great leap forward for, for certainly this live, is the fact that a lot of sound things have happened, but the visual things that are happening, especially in front of Yvette. Now, Yvette's... Is, is she, she's a believer in the paranormal, but she's very sceptical about what she sees. She has to really know it's definitely there. And for her, you could hear the fear slowly build as she was, as, as she was seeing this thing uh, in front of her. And it was, it was quite scary down there because of that. So I don't know what, what's going to happen tonight. Let's hope that just grows and grows. Well, again, tonight's investigation has already started. We've got Stuart and Chris started the work for us tonight. Last night, like, we can see you actually down there okay. in that well. Um, when you were down there at first, did you get any kind of sense of, of being, I know there are people around me, I'm going to be safe, I'm being looked after, or did you feel isolated from the beginning? I felt quite brave at first, and then, uh, as you can see there, I've got my, um, I've got my hood up, because it went quite cold, actually. It went a lot colder than it had been in previous in the day. But, um, yeah, I mean, I suppose at first I was quite brave, and then as the time went on, I just started to lose it. But you can actually see your face as we were looking at it when, when we were yesterday uh, looking at you down there from, from the safety of the studio, that you could see you, you absolute fear. I mean, there was concentration, but fear in your face, and it was getting more and more yeah. and more with every minute that went by, which was... I mean, more power to you for doing it. It's also something that is different for us now. As we know, we are following... I mean, you know, the team here, me and Leslie and Fred Batten, people and Julian, are following you guys around from location to location. So there's every chance that things may happen in front of these cameras, which, again, are recording the whole time. Absolutely. I mean, th this place where you're sitting out is very haunted. I mean, uh, 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 as we said earlier, a lot of the people here, they, they, they truly believe that this place is haunted. It's not just stories, they're not trying to sell stuff. This is a really haunted place. And there are people who will not venture in here, who work here, and you're here all night. Thank you for that reminder. Thanks. And I must say, I was speaking to some people in Prague today, just having a wander around. I told them where we were going in my broken Czechoslovakian, and a number of them made the sign of the cross instinctively, because yep. although this place has only been open for something like 95 years and then it closed in the 60s, it's already part of that local fabric of, whatever you want to call it, folklore, myth, legend. This is known to the locals and is as intense a paranormal site as the old town hall was last night. Well, absolutely, and there's, there's stories that some say that, you know, every single day that this was working, a, a, a body was washed down the, sewer, the, 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 the waterwork system. So th there's a lot of death, a lot here. More, more so probably than anywhere else we've investigated in such a short time. It is going to be a fantastic night tonight. Thank you for the moment, both of you, Carl and Matt. As I said, Stuart and Chris have already started tonight's investigation, but we have dug and delved into the history of this place, and we've got our expert here, Thomas Vesnik, who's also our translator, historian, to tell us more about some of the stories in the past of these ancient waterworks. People who worked in the sewers often risked their lives, and there is one accident I would like to tell you about. There was one man who was working in the centre of town in the sewers. He got flushed into the system by the sewage and was forced along for several kilometres. He was screaming, help me, save me. His cries of terror could be heard all along his route underneath the city streets until he reached the waterworks. 
Here at the waterworks, there was a powerful water wheel, which could process several cubic meters of sewage per minute. This poor sewage worker slammed into the wheel, and his body was chopped into many pieces. Years later, there is a story of a skeptical man who had worked here for 20 years. One day, his colleagues found him in a very bad state. All he would say was that he wanted to quit his job. He told them he had heard a screaming voice that was very similar to the man's cries from the day of the tragic accident. The cries were then heard by other employees and even by other inhabitants of Prague. People are convinced they have seen the ghosts of those whose bodies were washed up in the sewer system. Workers are said to have seen ghosts walking around the waterworks and through the walls. This is why not many people work here for long. Well, they say this is the most, one of the most haunted places of the waterworks where Paul and I and Leslie are uh, tonight. And if you see anything unusual, not just on the investigation or on the webcams, but when we're on camera as well, let us know, because we do get sightings on these shows uh, from what you've seen behind Paul, behind Leslie, behind me. Uh, keep those messages coming as well through the evening. And as I mentioned, if you've come to Prague and we're getting lo lovely stories from you, we want to hear those through the evening too. You can get in touch on the website, you can Twitter, you can face send messages on Facebook, and we'll go through those as the evening goes on. And some of you already very scared and wishing the team safe tonight as well. Thank you for those messages, including uh, Matt in Dublin. Hi, Matt. Uh, Sam in Truro. Pete in Scotland. Uh, Amy in Margate. And Sophie in Stafford. Uh, wishing the team all the best and enjoying the show. And uh, so many of those. And we really do appreciate them every time we uh, go on location with Most Haunted Live. Now, on the webcam sightings, people always say, you know, did you see this? I didn't see what that person saw. This is interesting what we're going to look at now because this is a shot taken from webcam two last night night in the well room. Let's have a look at it now on the screen. Uh, there it is. Uh, and can you see up behind that balustrade that shape there? Now, that wasn't uh, on the webcam all the time. That was just there in that shot. So on the top right there of the, of the four webcams, can you see on the balustrade there, there is some kind of figure, some kind of shape. Uh, some of you reported it last night, and we spotted it uh, when we called it back. That's the kind of thing that we're looking for when you look on the webcams on the website uh, because if you see something unusual that really is important also by the way the time you see it because that helps us to go back and go through the uh, the videotape and see what we can see and corroborate what you've seen so bear that in mind when you get in touch now uh, other messages coming through daniel in manchester says can't wait for the show tonight it was a great uh, show last night so good luck to the team uh, you're in for a big fright tonight says oliver in hull thank you very much indeed for that uh, thomas and oldham uh, great night last night i heard the growling noises he says as well and i'll be watching again uh, tonight. Yvette and the team are doing a great job. Growling was a big theme actually of uh, last night on the observations from you. And on Twitter, uh, this one's interesting. My mum and Nan went to Prague two years ago. They took photos around Prague and some of the photos had a white mist in them when we developed them later. Uh, Tiffany Jackson, thank you for getting in touch uh, via Twitter, twitter.com slash realmosthaunted. And on uh, Facebook, uh, Paul Murphy says someone will get hurt tonight. Watch out for flying glass fragments. I fear for all of you, say Paul and Charlene in Exeter. Stay safe is their message. Facebook.com slash Most Haunted. More from Interactive to come later. Paul, back to you. Thank you, Julian. Well, the scale of this building, these old waterworks, is truly immense. So the paranormal possibilities are vast and the investigation is already underway. More after this. Welcome back to Most Haunted Live, the second night of a four-night investigation in and around Prague in the Czech Republic, an amazing city seeped and saturated in paranormal possibilities, and tonight's investigation has already begun. We've based ourselves here in this amazing place. It's the old waterworks outside Prague. In the early 20th century, this place was cutting-edge technology, but it also has its own dark stories and legends. Let's find out a little more about tonight's location. The ancient city of Prague, with its stunning Gothic and Baroque architecture, lies above a secret, eerie and foreboding underworld. 